I'm basically a Valorant Google because I've coached and played enough Valorant to forget the color of grass. So students come to me in a Q&A session and we cover any of things they're curious on or having trouble understanding. The student had some really interesting insightful things that I think helps clear up a lot of misconceptions about AIM that most players have and I wanted to share it with you all. Enjoy. So it's good to stay on a certain sense, but there is like a stigma that if you change your sense, you're just like yourself as a player. <laughs> Tens does it all the time. He's fine, right? Like he doesn't immediately yeah. just start whiffing all the shots. The problem comes from when like players don't have the fundamentals built up. Yeah, I feel like that whole muscle memory is so like overdrawn. It doesn't line up with what's happening. Yeah, for sure. I go between two different trains of thoughts. Higher sense, I can switch to the correct angle at head height faster. It's better to have low sense because the micro adjustments are easier on lower sense. Have you heard about raw Excel? That might give you best of both worlds there. I feel like that's such like a frowned upon fucking thing. The pointer precision thing, I'm sure you've heard that a hundred times already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Th that's why Mouse Excel actually has like a bad rep. There's plenty of like good players that actually use Mouse Excel and it can still oh, really? be designed in a way where it's still consistent. And that's like yeah. th the thing that made pointer decision bad as it wasn't consistent i'm ascendant and i feel like my game knowledge and my util use which has gotten me here but i feel like my mechanics are actually pretty poor the big thing is movement i watch other people and like in my rank and i'm like damn that shit is so much cleaner than mine <laughs> how are you practicing your movement in game so at the moment i'm just like kind of two bullet just like strafing like that i'm not sure if that's how i should be fighting or not you're pretty close you might actually just full stopping instead of doing a counter strafe oh should i be constantly moving like that yes yes there you go i practiced a lot of like strafing like this but i've never been sure like when i'm in a game if i should be strafing like this or if i should be sh stopping and shooting too usually you do both but mainly where you're constantly moving i would switch up directions too and distances that's usually something Dude, that's i haven't practiced like before my games feeling that timing like in your soul and your in your muscle yeah whatever it is <laughs> literally <laughs> super, super helpful do you practice the other bullets for your no never so there's two timings i want you to be really aware of the first one yeah. is how long does it take for your gun to be ready to fire again without like moving. almost the second like ages so you can turn on firing error in your crosshair settings and like really see it so the longer you shoot the wider it's gonna go and the longer it's gonna take to reset knowing the timings for like the tap 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 or the little burst or even just the sprays can help a lot it's so a really important thing that kind of has you do with like the counter shoots is to really mix it up you want to do yep. you know what i mean <laughs> just like that yes perfect and is that just to like Great unpredictability. It's mostly just a training thing. Also, because in game you're not just going to be doing the double taps. I'm not sure when I should be pre aiming and tracing corners. Um, pre aiming is usually just like depends how much intel you have. Like if you know someone's holding an angle, like you just hear someone running around the corner, it's usually an intel move. Or if it's a really common angle. But generally, what well, I should be tracing corners instead. I think most times you do pre aim though. Like when you PK main there, you're pre aiming to the wall. So I don't think there's a lot of times you're really tracking corners. Oh, cool, because I tend to like pre aim everything. And that can be better. Sometimes I'm guessing when you pre aim stuff, you pre aim too deep and then someone's right around the corner a bit closer. Yeah, that happens that. to me all the time. Maybe even just reading the opponent will get you there. Like, could they actually be yeah. closer here? 